What's up guys, Warlock here, welcome back to the channel. Today I have a brand new Apex Legends video for you and I'm gonna teach you how to play the brand new Season 7 Legend, Horizon. If you enjoyed today's video, hit that like button and if you're new here, smash that subscribe button for more videos on how to improve your Apex Legends gameplay. Now let's do it. All right guys, welcome back. So in today's video, what we're gonna do is we're gonna break down her abilities and then I'm gonna give you some tips and tricks on how to use her in the apex games and then i'm gonna have some examples at the end of the video to wrap it all up so make sure you stay tuned to the end okay so let's break down her abilities ryzen's abilities are all based around manipulating gravity with the help of her cute robot pal newt landing. first is her passive ability spacewalk her passive gives her increased control over her movement in the air allowing her to move and land where she wants this also means she loses minimum momentum after landing unlike other legends Next up is her tactical ability, Gravity Lift. It creates an anti-gravity field that lifts players upward and boosts them outward when they want to exit. This combines well with her passive ability, allowing her to access high ground more easily and can even be used to launch enemies into the air or lift a downed ally out of danger. Last up is her ultimate. Horizon's ultimate ability is the black hole. She deploys new her trusty little bot to create a mini black hole that pulls in surrounding players, preventing them from escaping. Legends with mobility skills should have an easier time getting away, but regardless, you don't want to be anywhere near this event horizon all right guys now that you have a better understanding of horizons abilities let's break down some tips on how to use her out there in the apex games so normally when you go to land after falling from a high building or surface when you hit the ground there is a momentum delay from falling which is just about a couple seconds but a way to combat this is to know when you're about to hit the ground you can melee it to reduce the impact but you still have a small delay to do this, all you do is look down at the ground and hit your melee button. Timing is everything with this. Now with Horizon, she doesn't have a momentum delay. This is great for when you're chasing down an enemy to finish them off, thinking that they can get away. Better yet, retreating from an enemy to heal or revive a downed teammate. You can gain a lot of ground from having your momentum intact. Horizon is a fairly mobile legend, and on Olympus being such a large map with so many different levels, her spacewalk ability definitely aids your team. Next up is using Gravity Lift. Okay, and I suggest using this ability a lot. On Olympus, with so many different levels, Gravity Lift is going to get your team into that ever so lovely high ground. So use this ability constantly. There's a couple of different ways to use Gravity Lift in Apex Legends, both offensively and defensively. So let's start with offensively. Offensively, the way to use Gravity Lift is to get the high ground, okay? The ever so prestigious high ground. Offensively, to gain the high ground, which Apex has shown to win the majority of fights. To do this, all you do is throw down your Gravity Lift and lead your teammates to the high ground. Now note, while you're in using Gravity Lift, the higher you stay in, the higher you'll go, and you can even pause at the top of the gravity lift to be able to sit there for a second and decide which direction that you want to go. On top of pausing there, guys, you can throw one down from a very high place and then slide jump into it and then continue going off the high ground into your next spot. It's actually a really cool and underrated technique for Horizon's new ability. Also with this, while you're pausing at the top, you can sit there and shoot enemies. And better yet, it's a good way to scout around the surrounding area. Being able to sit up at the lift for about 10 seconds or so and look around and see what kind of stuff is going around in the immediate area is a good way to scout out your next decision to make in Apex Legends. Next up is using this ability defensively. This is where all the fun can happen. Throwing down the gravity lift at an opponent or a teammate launches them into the air which can make them easy targets or while in a room throwing it at the doorway will prevent them from entering the room which should give you enough time to heal and or revive fallen teammate another great way to use gravity lift is to change direction or height again the high ground and throw your enemy off without them knowing exactly where you are disguising your position by changing the height or levels that you're at can throw your opponent off which can help you win a much needed gunfight. Lastly, you can use this ability to help down teammates get out of the engagement zone to a safe place so you can revive them. Just throw the gravity lift next to or on top of them, it'll launch your teammate up into the air and they'll be able to use their movement to direct which way that they wanna go. 
Now onto some tips on how to use her ultimate black hole. When the black hole emerges, it sucks up everything in the immediate area. I should note that players can stay out of the black hole as long as they continue moving away from it in the same direction. Any other movement other than away from the black hole will keep them pinned to it. This makes enemies easy targets. To use the black hole, I like to think of it as, a, as the same way as the Caustic's gas grenade or gas bomb. The black hole should be used in certain situations such as enclosed areas like rooms, doorways, behind walls, or areas where enemies are pinned down. The one thing about the black hole which can be tough is when enemies are caught in it, sometimes they can be hard to see in the middle of a skirmish with everything going on. Some ways to use the black hole in doorways specifically is when you're approaching a fight. We threw a third party of fight here and we're throwing the black hole in to disguise where our location is, where we came from, and then just completely disorient every enemy inside. Another great way is in hallways, big crowded areas, especially when you're trying to retreat. Using this ability defensively can delay an enemy from attacking you long enough so you can heal and get out of combat. The best way is to just use it and hide behind it to help disguise where you are. Be careful though because the black hole does affect you and your teammates just like Caustic's gas grenade would. So make sure that you're when you're using the black hole that you're not throwing it around or into your teammates. Although some cases do call for you to use it as a last resort, but I advise not doing that in these cases. Another big way to use the black hole is to get enemies off high ground. Again guys, Olympus has a lot of different levels, a lot of different buildings, and some new stuff that we haven't seen before, and a lot of teams are going to live and die by the high ground. But the black hole, just like Caustic's knock gas grenade or gas bomb if you will, it's a great way to get enemies off the high ground and then use her gravity lift to retake that position. Again, you can use this from any distance. The best way is to just line up your shot when you're using the gravity hole or black hole, I should say. It has a very large AOE, so making sure you're taking the right amount of time and putting it in the perfect spot can take out a team all entirely and give your team the best position to use in a given fight. Now onto the utility of the black hole. A lot of people may not think of the black hole this way, but it is a, I think it's a cool and underrated ability, although we're a few days into the game. The black hole can be used just like Bangalore smoke, the caustic gas or traps, especially in wide open areas. Being out in the open, because there's a lot of open spaces inside of Olympus, it can block line of sight. This is a huge deal in Apex Legends. People's aims have gotten insane, guys, and they can beam you from across the map with almost any given gun. So being able to use the black hole as a way to break line of sight and just, you know, disencourage enemies to push you is a great way to use this. It allows your team to get away, heal, or get across that open field without the threat of being shot. Now, it is only so wide, guys. The black hole is only going to be so big, so you may take some damage, but I think it'll deter the enemies enough to get you to what where you need to be or get you behind the correct cover that you need to engage that fight. All right, guys, that's going to do it for today's video. I really do hope that this video helps you out and helps you learn how to play Horizon a whole lot better. She's the brand new legend, and I've been playing her so far since the release, and I think she's an absolutely amazing character. I think she's going to have a pretty big impact on the meta and on the game, and just overall in general, I think she's going to be a little bit better well-received than legends like Revnet, Crypto, and Rampart. Uh, so far, the only one, in my opinion, that has made the huge difference is Watson, but I think Horizon is going to be a great addition to Apex Legends in Season 7, along with this Olympus map. I'm having an absolute blast using her, so I think she's made such a cool impact on the game with her backstory and lore. I think she's a very, very cool legend. She has some very unique abilities that I think is going to really spice and shape up the game as far as how, how to play at different levels, along with this Olympus map, which has that all over the place. really do hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. If you guys did, make sure to drop a like. And if you're new here, be sure to subscribe for more videos on how to improve your Apex Legends gameplay. And as for me, Warlog, stay gaming, guys. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.